As part of its ongoing efforts to ensure the nation's capital is prepared to host members of the public in a safe, secure and comfortable manner during the Christmas season, the Port of Spain City Corporation focused on the implementation of several activities at their statutory meeting. According to Mayor of Port of Spain, Alderman Chinwa Alain, it is always a priority for the corporation to ensure the city is maintained. He said during a period of increased activities, additional resources will be allocated to these projects. Again, the campaign continues tomorrow, uh, aimed and supported, not just by our staff from engineering department, but also by the city police who have been involved with us in short and that the traffic management for the campaign as well, and that we need to the needed to help response to that. He is also reminding the public of the city borders. He said, the Port of Spain City Corporation always offers its support, but he is certain that his colleagues from the neighboring corporations have their requisite plans in place. I received some text messages from members of the public as to when the campaign is coming to their community. Uh, just to advise that Port of Spain begins at Corporate and Ends and John John and enables us as far north as Minnesota. According to Deputy Mayor, Councillor Abina Hartley, in response to a request made by the Port of Spain vendors, the City Corporation has devised a vending schedule for the Christmas season. She said their decision was informed based on recommendations by Superintendent Glenn Charles of the City Police and the limitations of available police officers. A such a recommendation has come forward that vending in the first two weeks of December starts on the regular day, which is Thursday, and ends on Sunday evening. And the last week, which is the 19th to the 24th, um, Christmas Eve, the vending program will run for that entire week. The Port of Spain City Corporation is continuing to plan and execute a number of other planned initiatives within the city. Jason John, TTT News.